Hello out there, Ron Smiley here. Let's take a look at your weather forecast as we're heading into the afternoon hours. And one of the cool things that I like to try to do on these video casts is kind of look outside of what I'm able to do during the newscast. Generally at the newscast, I'm looking ahead at what's gone on. Oftentimes I don't have a lot of time to look behind at what we have seen. Well, that's what these video casts oftentimes are for. We like to show you some of those stats that sometimes we just don't uh, get to show or maybe a stat that I get to show showing kind of the numbers behind that stat and what might make it so special. And that's why I love that you guys are uh, here with us. One of the things we're going to do right now, and you can see it there, uh, I'm adding video into uh, some of my uh, webcasts now, and it'll be on the air as well. This is something, obviously, no one else is doing in market. They'll... I'm certainly sure we'll start once they see that it's possible. Let's talk about your forecast and um, actually looking behind. You can see the, well, this looks like a funnel cloud. Maybe even, even though it's a little shaky there with the video, maybe even, man, look at that structure. Supercell, gorgeous view. This would be a low PLP, uh, uh, low precipitation storm is what we normally would call these. A lot of times you see them out in the plains. We talked about yesterday that we were going to see a different type of storm that could bring with it a tornado. That's what you're seeing right there. Now, no confirmation just yet on if it was a tornado, but I can tell you looking at the video that is out there and looking also at this video, look at that structure right there. Look at the hook that we're seeing just north of South Huntington. I'm amazed that South Huntington didn't have some better video. Here it comes. Uh, right at 8 o'clock is when we saw, 801 is when we saw that uh, warning issued. And you can see just north of Mount Pleasant right there. There's that tornado warning that was issued a little bit of damage as well. For today, 80 degrees, your expected high temperature. It's going to be plenty hot. Highs near 90 beginning uh, on Friday. And that lasts all the way through the 4th of July. We're looking at feels like temperatures, and we'll just kind of slowly try to move you into our feels like temperatures there, uh, right at 100 degrees as we're heading into Friday, and then Sunday also, I should say Sunday and Monday, that we're looking at those temperatures. Hey, they only give me 220, 2 minutes, 20 seconds on Twitter, so I'm almost at that time now. I got to go. So I'll see you at noon. Jeff is in later on tonight.